Pilots departing from runways 17 left and 17 right at Reno Tahoe International need to pay special attention to the Mustang 9 departure. It is extremely important that the procedure on the Mustang 9 departure be followed exactly as published. Here's why. Mountains and obstacles combined with an airport field elevation of 4,415 feet and an MVA, a minimum vectoring altitude, of 7,400 feet leaves very little room for anything but the published departure procedures. Let's go through the procedure and give you a visualization of what it needs to look like. On departure from runways 17 left or 17 right, the published instructions are climb to 10,000 or assigned altitude on IRNO south course to Ridge 2, 3 DME, and then turn left, direct, Foxtrot, Mike, Golf, Fortac. Pretty simple. However, here's what you might not be able to see from inside the cockpit. After departure, the minimum vectoring altitude is 7,400 feet. Aircraft need to climb to 10,000 feet for terrain avoidance. It is crucial that aircraft continue to ridge to 3 DME, turn direct to the Foxtrot Mike Golf Vortac and continue climbing to 10,000 feet. The danger is obvious, aircraft flying below the MVA. Aircraft have been turning prior to ridge to 3 DME and continuing direct Foxtrot Mike Gulf Vortac. This places aircraft below the MVA, which is dangerously low due to the terrain in the area. Procedures are there for a reason. Although it may look safe from the cockpit, remember, you are departing. You are climbing with a nose high attitude. You may not be seeing the complete picture from the cockpit. Following the procedure for the Mustang 9 departure will keep you above the MVA and on a safe course.